Please rise. Grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. The word of God that I've chosen to share with you this morning is taken from the gospel reading that Pastor Lee just read for you. I share with you today at verse 31. Jesus is speaking. He says, do not be afraid because you are of more value than many sparrows. This is the word of God before us this morning. Please be seated. Have you ever committed yourself to doing a project around the house, but then you never got around to finishing it? I would imagine that's happened to a, a number of you from time to time. You just found out that the project was bigger than you thought it was going to be. And then you had to let go of your commitment to finish the project. Well, the Danish theologian Soren Kierkegaard he once told a story about the difference between a contribution and a commitment. Now, it seems in this story that in this little town, there was a wonderful fire chief. Everybody in town loved him. He was a good guy. Well, there was a big fire in town. And the fire chief got together the firefighters to go and to put out the fire. Well, when they got to the event where the fire was, they found that many of the townspeople had gathered all around the fire. And there they had their little squirt pistols and squirt guns, and they were trying to put out the fire. They thought they were contributing and helping to put out this fire. Well, the fire chief here, he was all upset. And he said to them, get out of here. Fires like this are not meant to have little contributions like you're giving. No, fires like this are meant for trained firefighters who are willing to risk their lives to put out this fire. Well, the point here is that there are many people who are willing to contribute to the work of Jesus in talking to people about forgiveness in heaven, but there are only a very few people who are committed to doing this work of Jesus. But you see, that's the emphasis here in God's Word before us today, isn't it? The emphasis is pretty simple. Do you want to make a contribution to the work of Jesus, or are you willing to be committed to this work of Jesus in sharing forgiveness in heaven with others? Another way to ask this is, are we willing to risk anything to be able to do the work of Jesus? Today, Jesus gives us a few things to be able to help us to be able to make a commitment to doing his work in this world. And first of all, Jesus teaches us to trust him in everything. I mean, what, can you imagine what it would be look like if, it, if we did that? What would it look like if we trusted Jesus with our entire lives? What would it look like what might we be able to accomplish if we really trusted everything to Jesus? In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus says, Whoever does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. And whoever finds their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for my sake will find it. Years ago, Jim and Elizabeth Elliot, they were missionaries, and they went to the country of Ecuador. Now, they went to, to be able to share the love of Jesus with people in a foreign country, but they found out that the work was really difficult. In fact, many times the supplies that they brought over were all stolen by the local people. And at one time, some of the local people killed Jim. In an interview, Elizabeth said, we always dreamed about sharing the love of Jesus in a place where very few people knew about him. But we never realized how hard it was going to be. We just never expected it to be that difficult. But serving God, we found out, is never exactly what you think it's going to be like. It may seem to be really bad, but in the end, you'll find that it is better and bigger than you ever imagined. 
You know, that's why we trust Jesus with our lives, isn't it? We trust Jesus because we know when we put our trust in him, we're going to find that life is better and life is bigger than we ever could imagine. Now, Jesus isn't asking us to do something here that he didn't do himself, is he? I mean, Jesus gave up his own life to be able to give people forgiveness of their sins, to be able to give people eternal life in heaven. When Jesus says today to take up our cross, Jesus literally did that, didn't he? I mean, Jesus died on a cross. But then he rose from the dead to forgive all of our sins, to overcome death for us, to give us eternal life with him in heaven. Jesus gives us an amazing example of his love. And he shows us how important it is that we share this love with others. Jesus wants us to trust him and to be committed to sharing his love with those around us. Secondly today, Jesus teaches us a promise. He says, I promise I'm going to take care of you as you tell other people about me. Jesus says today, don't be afraid of those people who kill your body but can't kill your soul. Rather, be afraid of the devil who could kill both your body and your soul in hell. And then Jesus says, are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And yet not one of them will fall to the ground without your heavenly Father knowing about it. Jesus says, even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid, he says, because you are worth more than many sparrows. What Jesus is saying here is he knows everything about us. Jesus is saying our lives are very important to him. And Jesus promises he's always going to take care of us. A woman named Betty Green was born in 1920. She had a passion in her life for airplanes and for doing mission work. Now, at the age of 16, she became a pilot. She was able to fly an airplane. Now, when World War II started, she joined the Women's Air Force Service Pilots. And her job was to bring supplies over to the fighter pilots as they went out into the war. She loved doing that. But she still had this passion for doing mission work. And so what she did is she got involved with a new organization called Mission Aviation Fellowship. She was able to fly in a plane, taking missionaries and doctors and medical supplies to countries that were in remote areas of the world. She took these supplies to countries like Mexico and Peru and Sudan and New Guinea and Nigeria. Betty said, every flight I took was dangerous, but I loved every minute of it. You know, we're going to go through a lot of danger in our lives. There's a lot of ups and downs in our lives. A lot of them are pretty dangerous. There are going to be times we go through some serious illnesses here on this earth. There are going to be times when we have people do some really mean things to us. They're going to hurt us. We also have to live with death all around us. Whether it's in our family or our friends, there's death all around us. But Jesus is promising here today, he's always going to take care of us. Jesus is always going to help us to be able to share the good news about forgiveness in heaven with people around us. Thirdly today, Jesus gives us an amazing promise. He promises to give us abundant blessings when we trust him with our lives. Today, Jesus says, whoever loses his or her life for my sake will find it. As we give our lives to Jesus, we will experience abundant blessings. For example, you have the abundant blessing of the forgiveness of all of your sins. That means there's no more shame, no more guilt over things you've done wrong. You don't have to live with those kind of things forever. It's great. Another abundant blessing we have is never having to be afraid of dying. We don't have to worry about what's going to happen when we leave this earth. Another abundant blessing we have is we know 
when we leave this earth, we're going to go right to heaven. We don't have to worry about what's going to happen. We have the certainty of knowing that Jesus is taking us right to heaven. And another blessing. We're going to have this inner joy and happiness that comes when Jesus uses us to share forgiveness in heaven with people around us. Wow. In 1930, a woman named Alberta Skinner moved to Czechoslovakia to become a missionary there. Now, when the communist government took over Czechoslovakia in the late 1930s, the government officials gave her an ultimatum. They said, Alberti, you can stay in this country and never leave, or you can leave this country and never come back. What an ultimatum, right? Well, Alberta decided she was going to stay. Even though she knew she couldn't leave, she was going to stay. And she did. Life was not easy there, but she continued to do everything she could to tell the people around her about Jesus. Now, she died in 1981, eight years before the communist government was abolished in 1989. But her life made a difference. Because many people are in heaven today because of her. She made a difference. Let me ask you today. Do you want to make a difference in this world? Are you willing to make more than a contribution? Are you willing to be committed to the work of Jesus? Are you want to be committed to sharing the good news about forgiveness in heaven with people around you? You know, it's a lot more than just coming to church, which you do every week. Get involved in some of the ministries that we have in the church that lead people to where they can find forgiveness in heaven, to lead people to where they can have the certainty of heaven. Trust Jesus with your life. Trust him. Live with the promise that Jesus is always going to take care of you. Live with the promise that you're going to have more blessings than you can ever imagine. Make that commitment to Jesus today and let him use you to lead more people to one day being in heaven. Because how great it's going to be when people you share Jesus with on earth, you're going to see in heaven. God bless us all with a commitment like this. Amen. Please now stand as we join together in the next song of praise.